Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing you your weekly love reads. This video is going to be for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. There will be timestamps below if you want to just go to the description box and select your sign. <laughs> I don't know what all this is, but um, this is going to be for July, for July 24th through the 30th. What's coming towards you in love? Um, these are general reads, so keep that in mind. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is really off base and not your read, go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon or your rising signs are, there's a link in the description box below that'll take you to a web page that I'm not affiliated with um, to get that information. It's free. You can just do a Google search on it. Um, there's also a link in the description box to my personal page if you're interested in a personal read. Um, you can check that out. We're going to use the Spacious Tarot deck, the Love and Romance Journey deck from Queen Sugar Tarot, the Soul Reflections, Love Oracle cards, Flames of Truth Oracle cards from Angelic Revelation 144, and then the Romance Angel Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue for some advice. So let's get into it, guys. Um, thanks for coming. I'm finally like, yay, I'm, I'm on time, finally. Sorry, uh, but let's get to Gemini's. Gemini's, Gemini's, Gemini's. What's coming towards Gemini's in love? Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and Nine of Cups. So you have seven, seven, two, nine, nine. So sevens, nines might be significant. At the bottom of the deck, you have a judgment, which is 20. So you have a two, a 20, a seven, a seven, and a nine, and a nine. So there's some consistent numbers there. What do you have coming towards you in love? I feel like you guys are, ooh, I like it. Okay, definitely working on yourselves with the judgment card. Underneath that is the 10 of cups. That's why I said, ooh, I like it. Um, but first here. So I feel like, Gemini's, you are focusing on yourself right now. You have been in need of a really good self-evaluation of yourself. The judgment card could also be a return of somebody from the past. Um, so you might be contemplating allowing that in your life. Um, but I feel like the judgment card is heavily you doing a self-reflection. It is heavily you evaluating your life, what makes you happy, what makes you unhappy, what are habits you're doing that's contributing to your unhappiness, what can you do to change those? What will you do to change those? And then like, what are other people doing that's contributing to your unhappiness? And what can you do to kind of change or control that? So I feel like it's going to be a very honest self-reflection of your situation, of your life, how you process things, how you handle things. And you're really going to figure out what changes you need to make. And this is not like, you're not going to be like going off and blaming other people. This is like a self-reflection of what you can do and how you can change and what choices you can make. Um, I feel that that is heavily what you're in the process of at the moment. Underneath that, we have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you're moving towards this Ten of Cups energy. The Ten of Cups energy is happily ever after. This is true love. This is soulmate. This is marriage. I feel like, Gemini's, this is coming. But I feel like there's work to be done prior to getting here. And the reason I say that is because of the Judgment card on the bottom. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, which... The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment, but it's and so is the Seven of Cups. So you could have this wish fulfillment coming towards you, which is the Ten of Cups as well, happily ever after, which I think that is what the cards are showing. But I feel like there's a process in between because the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups are also very singular energy. So this is like working on your stability, working on your finances, working on your emotional stability, working on your financial stability. This is a singular energy. Nine of Cups is also a singular energy. This is like working on loving yourself, working on being able to love others, like fixing yourself, working on yourself financially, emotionally. Um, I do see a wish fulfillment truly coming, right? We have the Seven of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. We have the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. We have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which is um, happily ever after, true love marriage. So I feel like you are working towards that. And I like this. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a little dandelion on the ones you blow and make a wish, right? Because it's a wish fulfillment. But it's also about like self-healing, self-growth, making yourself stable, making yourself 
emotionally stable, financially stable. So I feel like um, we also have the Seven of Cups, which is a lot of choices. We have the Seven of Swords, which is lies and deception. We have the Two of Pentacles, and then we have the Nines. So I feel like the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords, I feel like, honestly, I feel like perhaps you have been kind of in this state of confusion about someone who's been telling you lies. Um, I don't think this person is who's coming towards you. I mean, I guess it could be someone coming towards you now, but after that person, it's going to lead to this wish fulfillment. I don't think this person lying is the person that's your wish fulfillment. Um, I feel like you're currently in this situation of confusion, of feeling kind of like you're stuck, feeling like, I don't know which path to pick. I feel like I'm being lied to. If I pick this cup, this is what's going to happen. If I pick this cup, this is what's going to happen. So I feel like you're kind of in this self-questioning. The Two of Pentacles is often like juggling like being indecisive trying to figure out what to do like like juggling right if i do this this is what's going to happen if i do that this is what's going to happen and i think that's all kind of reflective in this judgment so i feel like when you really assess and reevaluate your situation you're going to know exactly what to do and it's going to propel you forward to these nine of pentacles nine of cups ultimately to your ten of cups which is your happily ever after but i feel like there's just some confusion because somebody's lied um this could be past energy right like so maybe this person presents themselves to you and you're so focused on well in the past when someone did that this is what it was like well in the past when someone did that this is what it's like they are lying they did this and i feel like you're maybe entrapping yourself from past history um and that's why that self-evaluation process of the judgment is so important for you gemini but let's see what other cards pop out. Um, I do definitely see a wish fulfillment coming towards you. Maybe not this week. Then we also have reunion, which I said this could also be a card of reunion, right? So maybe someone is coming back that was that lied to you, that made you feel confused, or made you feel like they were juggling you. Um, <laughs> then we have walking away. So maybe this person is coming back and you go through this self-evaluation process and you decide to walk away so you can focus on your healing, focus on yourself to bring in that Ten of Cups energy. The past returns, perhaps an ex-lover or a past life. Well, let's get, let's get redundant because this is all showing the same things. Did something pop over? I thought something popped over, but I guess not. Time with friends. Friends introduce a new love. And then we have overcoming odds. So potentially this person coming back from the past, maybe you guys can overcome some of those odds that um, put you where you are. Maybe them coming back and like you facing that, you walking away from that and telling them that might open up some gates for you guys to be able to come back together. I'm not sure. But I think whatever you choose to do with this reunion is going to be a healing process for you. All right, so this is the Flames of Truth Oracle. Your message says, I know that you're angry with me for ignoring you. I am so frustrated with myself. Why can't I communicate with you? So maybe that was the issue with this person that's returning. They couldn't communicate. Maybe they're coming back to show you they can. I don't know. You tell me, Gemini. Let me know. All right, let's get some Romance Angel Oracles from Doreen Virtue. Some advice for Gemini's. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then on the bottom of the deck it says make the effort. Great love is worth taking steps you are guided to take. So um, I feel like, Gemini's, you are going to know what to do in this situation. I feel like conversations need to be held, right? But I feel like you will figure it out. And it will lead to your Ten of Cups. It will lead to your wish fulfillment. Your Nine of Cups. It will lead to that wish fulfillment in the seven of cups but i feel like it's got you've got some work to do in between but the past is coming back there's gonna be a reunion reunion a reunion for some reason i just got that song um usher you make me wanna leave the one i'm with and start a new relationship with you I don't know if that's relevant to somebody. I don't know. All right, Gemini's. 
that's your read. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to move on to Libras. I can shuffle these cards. All right, Libras, Libras, Libras. What's coming towards Libras in love? I feel like these cards are trying to jump out and then they don't. Libras, I swear you always get Leo cards. Um, strength. The strength card came out. High Priestess. The Three of Wands. Mm, five of Wands. Four of Cups. The Lovers. All right. That makes me happy for you, Libras. Libras, I feel like um, Five of Pentacles. I feel like you do have a true love coming or a true love in your energy the lover's card is true love soulmate marriage to me um i do feel like you have been going through a bit of a difficult situation i feel like you could potentially be with someone or someone could be coming that you might have felt was a missed opportunity or you missed out on an opportunity with this person um yeah i'm not 100 percent sold on this card in this read for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but I feel like um, potentially this person coming around could be someone that you feel like you had a missed opportunity. I feel like it could have been a missed opportunity because the Five of Wands is here. The Five of Wands is like conflict or competition. So this person could have had other people vying for their attention and they didn't pick you originally. Um, this You could have had lots of people vying for your attention. So this person was like, Libra's not interested in me. Um, or you could have been with this person and there was just a lot of arguing. But I kind of feel like, oh gosh, I don't know. I feel like, I kind of feel like this might be a return, but there's not cards of return here yet. Um, five of Pentacles. Yeah, nope, I don't see a return necessarily. But I feel like this person... I guess if it was a missed opportunity, it could be a return of some sorts. Um, I do feel like it could have been because one or you, one of one of you, one or the other of you, um, had a lot of competition and lots of people vying for your attention, and it just didn't click at that moment. I feel like um, your journey, Libras, has required you to utilize a lot of strength, util utilize a lot of courage to continue to move forward, to put your heart out there. And really tap into your spirituality with this high priestess. Really tap into your intuition. Really go with how you're spiritually being guided and how you are feeling in your gut. I feel like sometimes you don't listen to your gut. You listen to your logic and that doesn't always pan out the best situation. Um, I feel like you're preparing yourself to get ready for your ships to come in. The three of wands is like waiting for the ships to come in, aligning yourself. You're prepared. You're ready. You've tapped into your spirituality. You tapped into your intuition. You've been using strength. You've been using courage. And I just feel like this, uh, this person either, they, they might be really fiery. I don't know if arguing is a hundred percent this card. It can be like conflict or competition. I feel like it's much more competition and I feel like it's a past energy of competition. And perhaps you had a lot of people coming for you and this person kind of stepped aside and now they're coming back or vice versa. But it's true love, soulmate, wedding energy, the lovers. Let's get some love and romance oracle cards for Libras. divine masculine so this is definitely your counterpart and then we have holding back and oh my freaking goodness gravy the divine feminine on the bottom of the deck so this is a this is a soulmate connection this is definitely divinely guided the lover's card is here as well it's reiterating that this is a divinely guided connection um this is we also have holding back so i feel like again Potentially, someone had too many suitors. Someone had too many people vying for attention. And the other person was like, I'm, Libra's not even paying attention to me. Or Libra, you might have been like, this person's not even paying attention to me. So I'm going to move away. But this is coming back around. We have look for the signs, which is also with the high priestess, tapping into your intuition. And then we have passion. This, this is going to be a passionate connection. If you know anything about the lover's card, I mean, that is like intertwined passion right there, right? 
Um, the bottom of the deck we do have, I want to reference control, feeling trapped, loss of self-respect. So um, just because I'm talking about the bottom of the deck energy levers. But I do feel like uh, this is super, super divine, divinely guided. All right, let's get a Flames of Truth Oracle. So this could be something you've said to this person, something they've said to you, something that was said to you or you said in the past. It doesn't have to be specific to this read to be relevant to you. Um, it says, I want to love you in a way that no one else ever has. You are my galaxy of stars and I only wish for you. So if that's not passion, I don't know what is, right? Um, this person very much wants to love you. You already know. No, that's just a song lyric. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> This I want to love you by Akon, but um, I want to love you in a way that no one else has, no one else ever has. You're my galaxy of stars and I only wish for you. All right, let's get Libra's um, Romance Angel Oracle cards for their advice. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youth spirit, allow your inner youthful spirit to, oh my gosh, let me start over. Playfulness. To rec to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Why I can't read that card, I don't know, but I couldn't. So be playful with this. Maybe especially because it's coming back around. Maybe because this person's fiery. Uh, we have release your ex on the bottom. The time has come to clear your energy. But um, the other card is past life relationship. So again, this is signifying that divine guided connection the soulmate energy you have known each other before libras you have known each other before all right good read libras let's uh clear this out to get to aquarius's thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate your support I just got this song in my head. Um, I don't even know if I know who sings it. It's like an 80s song. I want to go back and do it all over, but I can't go back. I know I want to go back because I'm feeling so much older. I don't want to sing it. I don't know who sings it. Maybe you know it. All right. If you do put it in the comments, like Steve Winwood, I don't know who sings it. I don't know. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Aquarius is. This is Brenda from Gumdrops. Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I don't know why I'm saying that. Because <laughs> I was about to go into another song, but I stopped myself because I said, here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. And then the next thing in my brain was, girls, what's my weakness, men? From a song. But I said, Aquarius is. So, anyways, Aquarius is. What's coming towards Aquarius is in love. Aquarius is. What's coming towards Aquarius is in love. Ding dong darn it. The Ten of Wands. <laughs> the Nine of Wands. That's funny. I saw that on the bottom of the deck and I was shuffling it away and it came right back. The Guardian of Wands, which is the Queen of Wands. Oh, the Three of Swords and the Guardian of Pentacles. So you have two Queens here. You also have the Tower card and the Fool card and the Empress card. Yay, that's the first time the Empress cards come out tonight. Um... Oh, Aquarius is. Let's see what's going on here. So we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. Hugs, big hugs. We have the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So like the Nine of Wands is like this wounded warrior energy. Aquarius, I feel like you guys get this read too frequently. Um, I really can't wait for the moment when everything is just gumdrops and lollipops for you. But um, I feel like it's all part of the process, right? So the Nine of Wands is this wounded warrior energy. This is not a bad read either. This is not a horrible read. Um, but this is just, you know, I, I like gumdrops and lollipops. But the Nine of Wands is this wounded warrior energy. It's like you've been pushed down, you've been knocked down, you've been stepped on your heart's been broken clearly your heart's been broken which is what the three of swords is but you're still carrying on um so this is this is like this optimistic eternal optimistic um energy that you possess because you're like yep i've um had some bad mojo coming my way yep things have been difficult yep i've had to go through some major crap 
but I'm still going and I'm still um, hopeful and I'm still waiting for this happiness to come. Um, I feel like you're putting down your burdens is as hard as things have been. I feel like you're ending cycles that aren't serving you with this Ten of Wands. I feel like the Ten of Wands is like, okay, this is too much for me to carry and keep dragging along and I need to just focus on what's best for me and set this burden down. So I feel like whatever's been burdening you, you're going to let that go. You're going to release it so you can be done with it. And I think this is very healthy. I like to see the Nine and the Ten of Wands together because... You're not giving up on what your heart desires, but you're saying, I'm dropping this crap that no longer serves me. I'm dropping this heartbreak that I endured. I'm dropping this sadness. I'm dropping this disappointment. Um, I'm dropping this grief and loss. And I am, I'm surviving and I'm pushing through. I'm persistent. I'm persevering. I'm this wounded warrior and I'm going to make it through. So I like this energy for you. We also have a queen of wands and a queen of pentacles. I'm happy to see this. This kind of makes me feel like you may have a choice of two people in your energy. On the bottom of the deck, you guys, we have the tower and the fool card and the empress. So I feel like you do have a lot of greatness coming towards you with this empress on the bottom of the deck. I feel like your, your person is in the wings. I feel like you're mauling through this garbage to get to your person and I think your person can very well be either the queen of pentacles or the queen of wands um I think you will be taking some leaps of faith with this situation I feel like you will um you, you have some hurdles to get over but you will I think that this person these people coming in is gonna really kind of uh flip your world upside down not necessarily in the greatest of ways initially. I feel like it's going to be hard for you to figure out. I almost feel like, guys, heavily, that this is a past person and a new person. And I feel like you are going to really struggle to let this past person go. I think the tower is really kind of being put into place to shake things up for you, to make you make that move that's so hard for you to make. I feel like you're letting something, someone go to move forward. Um, so this could be between two people. So one, the queen of uh, pentacles is very, it could be an earth sign or a fire sign. It doesn't have to be a specific sign, but um, very uh, grounded, committed, loyal, stable. Could be someone um, that takes care of and provides for you. And then we have a fiery, sexy, flirty, fun-loving, energetic kind of energy as well. Um, I feel like, you know, in a read, I, both of these are great kind of compatibility people to have. Like, um, they both have very good qualities. But I feel like, honestly, this is going to be a choice that you have to make. And I feel like you're going to let somebody go. I kind of feel like you're going to let the... Um, the the wands go so it doesn't necessarily mean uh like a specific sign 100 so don't like focus so much on that but i feel like you're gonna let go of the person that's all about this passion and not about the long-term stability and you're gonna go towards someone who is stable who is grounded who is committed who is loyal who is wants a long-term commitment who has love who has um empathy who has the the notion to take care of you to love on you to show you what you deserve Let's get some more cards for Aquariuses, but don't, don't necessarily focus on the signs, guys. It's just the two energies. Inner child. I feel like Aquariuses, you could be very well working on some inner child wounding, um, going through your past history. I just got chills, like <sighs> chills, complete chills. Um, and uh, the person that's watching will know why, uh, cause we have inner child so I think you're healing your inner child. We have reconciliation. And then we have destiny. So I really feel like as rough as these cards are for you right at the moment, Aquarius, is, it's going to be freaking amazing soon. Um, and the Empress, again, I just want to show you how beautiful this Empress card is. Your soulmate, your connection, your person. Whew, I got major goosebumps. Major goosebumps. Okay, so we have the Soul Reflections Love Oracle card. So giving a gift. What do Aquarius need to see? And unclear. Yeah, and I feel like um, there's third party on the bottom. So that might be 
something that reminds you of somebody. We also have past returns, perhaps next lover or a past life. So I feel like, guys, um, I feel like you're going to be getting a gift. I feel like you're going to be receiving a gift that's going to pull you out of this unclear energy. And I don't mean a gift like a package or um, like a... Uh, a materialistic gift. I feel like you're going to be given this gift of knowledge, this gift of clarity, this gift of understanding, because you're going to put those burdens down. And like inner child too, I've laid it down right on top of the 10 of wands inadvertently. Um, you're letting go of all these burdens that you had. And I think that's the gift you're getting is the ability to let it go because things have been so unclear for you. I feel like it's all opening up. All right, guys, I've been using this, um, Flames of Truth Oracle deck from Angelic Revelation 144. Uh, so these cards um, might be something that's been stated to you in the past. You might have stated it to someone else. Someone might state it to you in the future. You might state it to someone in the future. Um, just take it how it resonates. It says, with one smile, I was so weak at the knees. You took my breath away with just one look. And that made me think of SWV weak. I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. I lose all control and something takes over me. In a daze, you look so amazing or something like that. It's not a phase. I want you here with me. You can Google it if you want to. I'm not going to sing it. All right, let's get some Romance Angel Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue to get some advice for my Aquariuses. Retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. And if you look at this, this is like a honeymoon card. This is not a, a singular ret retreat. This is not you being a hermit. This is you... Going on your freaking honeymoon. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I think that's the gift you're going to be given, guys. To understand that this, you have to let go of this unrequited love. Either the maybe you have love for somebody that doesn't have love for you. Or um, someone has love for you that you don't have for them. But it's going to end in a retreat of a honeymoon. All right, Aquarius, says that's going to end our read today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate your support so much. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your um, time, for watching, for your patience. I appreciate you all so much. And until the next time, take care.